Hi, I'm Ben Shapiro, and this is Reality Check. President Obama made a lot of promises last year about how he'd make the world a better place. He said he'd fight the bad guys. He'd force them to back down. He'd stand up for freedom. So let's test how he did. In April 2014, you remember, the Nigerian Islamist group Boko Haram, which literally means no education for girls, lived up to their name, and they kidnapped 276 schoolgirls. On May 6th, President Obama sent a team to Nigeria to help find the girls. At the time, Obama said, quote, We've already sent in a team to Nigeria. They've accepted our help through a combination of military, law enforcement, and other agencies who are going in trying to identify where, in fact, these girls might be and provide them help. On May 9th, First Lady Michelle Obama posed with this sign. Oh, you remember that one? And then she took over President Obama's weekly address, and she said this. This unconscionable act was committed by a terrorist group determined to keep these girls from getting an education. Grown men attempting to snuff out the aspirations of young girls. Let us all pray for their safe return. Let us hold their families in our hearts during this very difficult time. And let us show just a fraction of their courage in fighting to give every girl on this planet the education that is her birthright. So whatever happened to those girls? I mean, you remember, this was a big issue. It made the cover of magazines. Many of them were forced to convert to Islam, and then they were forcibly married. They were raped by the members of Boko Haram. Just days after President Obama's speech on Boko Haram at West Point in late May, two of the kidnapped girls were found buried. Another two were found raped in the forest. In June, Boko Haram reportedly kidnapped another 91 girls, and that came on top of the slaughter of an entire village, over 300 people the month before. So, yeah, that didn't work out so great. Okay, so how about Russia? You remember President Obama talking a tough game when Vladimir Putin decided to annex Crimea in March 2014. On March 26th, President Obama said this. Russia's leadership is challenging truths that only a few weeks ago seemed self-evident. That in the 21st century, the borders of Europe cannot be redrawn with force. That international law matters. That people and nations can make their own decisions about their future. President Obama authorized sanctions against a few choice Russians, you know, the special ones, on March 6th, then a few more choice Russians on March 20th, and then he pushed a weak international sanctions regime on Russia. And then, in December, President Obama signed a bill that would put even further sanctions on Russia. Except not so much, because he then announced that the administration wouldn't really be imposing these sanctions. And so here's what Vladimir Putin had to say in his New Year's address in Russia about Crimea. This event will remain a very important moment in domestic history forever. So yeah, that whole we're going to drive them out of Crimea and save Ukraine, not so much. Okay, well, how about stopping ISIS? You remember, this was a huge story this year. After the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria took over a huge swath of Iraq, just months after Obama called them a terrorist JV team, President Obama pledged to cripple them. Our objective is clear. We will degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL through a comprehensive and sustained counterterrorism strategy. So how is that crippling campaign of military brutality against our enemies going? Here's a map from the New York Times of what ISIS controls today in Iraq. The red dots, those are ISIS-controlled places. The pink shaded areas, those are ISIS-controlled as well. Everything in yellow, those are places under repeated assault from ISIS. So what the map shows, basically, is that ISIS is in control of Mosul and Fallujah, and it's consistently placing Baghdad under attack. So, yeah. It's safe to say that the three biggest foreign policy stories of the last year involving the United States were unmitigated failures for President Obama. He broke his promises to the girls of Nigeria. He broke his promises to the Ukrainians. He broke his promises to the victims of ISIS and to Americans who want to be protected from ISIS. But don't worry. At least he can use his Nobel Peace Prize as a paperweight. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to give a quick donation.